said to you, despite how you're feeling, what are the real world implications that suggest to you that you are somehow beneath men? You might have a personal experience where I mean, a man. You can talk about said, sexual assault everywhere in the military, in the home. So, so are these the things that, that you're fighting to end sexual assault? Of course, yeah. Okay, great. You don't have to be a feminist to fight to end sexual assault. You don't have to. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back again with a new video, guys. Today, we're here with an amazing video. Candice Owens debates college feminists. Okay, this is going to be an interesting one. And I would love us to check it out together. You know how to talk less, then we react more. Let's get right into it. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Um, so, I noticed you had a lot of thoughts on feminism. Um, I'm a feminist, but really I was just wondering, how do you differentiate between the extremism that exists in feminism as it does across, you know, multiple different ideologies, but how do you differentiate between the extremism and how, you know, feminists like me think, you know, I don't hate men. I yeah, don't, it's a great question and, and I'm glad you asked it. How yeah, you? it's a very, a great, very question. So what you have to realize about the left when you talk about extremism is they hack words that once had real meaning and they take them for their own nefarious goals, right? So they'll say racism. And you'll go, oh my God, no, really, racism used to exist, but now it means organizing your pantry. That's obviously not racism. That's completely ridiculous. You see something like feminism, and once upon a time, you know, women were fighting for the right to vote. Well, now we have that. We have equal footing. Um, and now they're using those terms. They're hiding behind the shield of feminism, and they're doing actually horrible things in society. And I, bl I blame True. feminists for almost every ill that we have right now because they've encouraged people not to act as a woman, and they bash men all the time. And I think that they have contributed the most to the breakdown of family in terms of an ideology. Now, I'm for you, my question. <laughs> no, I am, I'm, I'm getting there. Okay. Now for you, you're like, okay, but I actually am somebody that just believes in equality, that there should be equality between the sexes, right? I think it's um, more culturally and socially, not necessarily in the realm of legality. Sure, so I'm gonna ask you, what is it socially, so you could call yourself something, right? That means that there's some fight that you have. What is it socially that you and I have as women that, that, that we don't have that men do? Why is there a need for you to be a feminist? I think as women, we are um, undervalued when it comes to our intelligence. I think people, especially for me, as a woman who, I'm sorry, what'd you say? Go ahead, let her talk. Uh, for me, as a woman, I feel like a lot of people look at me and think I'm superficial, they think I'm, I'm, I'm vapid, they don't necessarily see that I could be intelligent, that I could speak for myself, they tend to automatically... Guys, don't be rude. Go ahead. I tend to get belittled a lot, and that comes from men, not necessarily women, right? So you, you're saying in your personal capacity, men are belittling you, right? But when you talk about affecting actually a social change, this might be your personal experience, but does that mean that all women are going through this or that all women are experiencing this belittlement by men? And see, I understand that, but I think also when I listen to you speak and you speak on why you don't like feminism, mm -hmm. I hear a lot of anecdotal work and I hear a lot of personal experience, like your experience in that one class that you had Whereas I've had five, six classes in my gender studies courses right. and I've never experienced no, that, anything that's totally like fine. that. That's ever. totally fine. You know Guys, what I mean? So I just don't feel like it's fair to studies. take personal experience. No, no, it's experience totally fine. Yeah, I get, I get what you're saying. I'm, I'm actually talking about the real world consequences of the dangerous ideology telling women that they have to take their clothes off, that they should be on TikTok. I'm talking about real world consequences. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm talking like about literally extremism. the fact that women are no longer, like, they're by and large all climbing the corporate ladder and that children are being seated over to the state. So I was giving you an anecdotal example of what happened in my feminist class, but the repercussions of that are seen everywhere. What I am saying is that what I'm offering to you mm -hmm. is not to feel like you have to give yourself an ism, right? Don't feel like you have to put yourself in a box. Don't feel like you have to put yourself into some weird social constructs. I think that what you'll find with time is that it constrains you unnecessarily. I don't have a problem mm. with the fact if you want to identify as a feminist and you think that there is some fight that needs to be ended. I don't personally think that is that's... Is conservatism not a box any more than feminism is? Well, saying that I have conservative principles, feminism is not being a conservative or being a liberal, right? You're talking about an ideology, right? A system you think I you're... mean, I would assume conservatism is also an ideology as well, is it not? Uh, sure. P conservatism is an ideology. These are the things that we believe. You could say that everything is an ideology. What I'm saying to you is that I would not necessarily paint yourself into a corner. You don't seem to me like you have any issues speaking up. You don't seem to me like you feel like you're constrained in any way. You're standing up here today. I would Simple. say, I would offer to you that there's never been a more remarkable time to be a woman in this society. By every statistic, we are doing better than men. That's a fact, right? Men have a higher, we, we are graduating at a higher rate than men. Men have higher suicide rates. That's why I said to you, despite how you're feeling, what are the real world implications that suggest to you that you are somehow beneath men? You might have a personal experience where I mean, a man- I you can talk about said, sexual assault. 
everywhere, in the military, in the home. So, so are these the things that, that you're fighting to end sexual assault? Of course, yeah. Okay, great. You don't have to be a feminist to fight to end sexual assault. You don't have to be, and but men and women. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, I agree. I don't great. believe you have to it's be. It's a great cause. But it's, men of course, and a part women of the go through that. I just said to him, one of the biggest things that I give to every year mm -hmm. is for human, human sex trafficking. It doesn't require to be a feminist. Now, yeah. you seem really committed to it. I've said to you since the very beginning, if you want to be a feminist girl, put it on a T-shirt, wear it, put a hashtag. I'm just telling you, don't unnecessarily put yourself into a corner and to recognize that it has never been a greater time. I would offer it is a way better time in this society to be a woman. Okay. This is surprising for me because I feel like the, the lady right there, she has some um, traumatic past experience or when she was little. I think she was abused, probably. And she kind of like belittle herself. That's what I'm going to use. She see herself low. It's not that men see her low. She sees herself low. She puts people's words in her mind over and over. She, she ponders around it. Um, <clears throat> if I'm to say you want to fight against sex trafficking or, or abuse, you don't have to be a feminist to do that. According to what Candace Owen said, you don't have to be a feminist to do that. Like the entire crowd was surprised of her decision to be a feminist. It is not worth being a feminist for. She does want to constrict herself and banter mail. I know she want. To, she says she wants to have children and also have a husband, but she has something against men. She is not displaying it right there, but I know she has something against men. Something happened. A traumatic experience happened in her past. That she don't want to review. It's as simple as that. Her body language, the way she expresses her, her, her vocals, the way she talk, the way she's conversing. I, I know there's something that is not being spelled out, like spilled out. There's something that is hidden. Uh, I just know how Candace Owens handled it. She just don't want the lady to see everything to everyone who does know about her history, about her past. So she just tell her straight fat. You don't have to be a feminist to fight um, against. Sexual abuse. If you want to be a feminist, write it hashtag feminism. I'm a fighter for feminism. Okay, we all know that. But don't constrict yourself in a box of feminist. Feminist. I mean feminist. No. Don't constrict yourself like that. This woman has a traumatic press. The lady asking the question has a very traumatic past. That's for sure. Comment down below if you think I'm right. <laughs> because this is exactly what she does display right here. She has a trauma that needs to be resolved. It's, she's not just... It's not about feminism of it. She has a past trauma that needs to be resolved. And I love how Candace always handles handle this. Comment below what you think about the video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video with as many as you can. Subscribe to our channel. I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just bought a bag like an old lady. I'm back wood smoking. I don't know papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku, bitch, in my bed. I got scales all over.